Last year's Best Actress, April Bender, is out of town, so I'm going to hang out and present this year's Best Actress Awards. I'd like to acknowledge this year's Critics' Choice for Best Actress. That went to Amy Sally Corley in the Reader's Poll Award for Best Actress. The finalists are Eileen Cotellas, a most devoted sister in the Sisters Rosenswag at Stageworks. Amy Sally Corley, a woman in mind at job site. And Brittany Snow, the Tampa native seen on TV's American Dreams. And the lofi goes to Eileen Cotellas. <laughs> nominated would have been enough among those like Amy and Brittany my goodness oh no really and Richard I was on stage with you but I would like to thank Stageworks and um, all the fabulous shows that they do and um, and I think all of Tampa and the community should thank Stageworks for all the fabulous work that they do. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. And to my family, I love you very much. Woo! This is the part where, you know, you kind of look at pictures, you know. <laughs> you know, you just kind of go look at a picture, you know. Most of us don't understand it, but uh, uh, Megan couldn't be here, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this. So, Angela, roll it on. Here you go. Eric. How many? Yes. <laughs> oh. Hey, how are you? Oh, good. Uh, they told me that Megan wasn't here, but she is. I am here. Megan is our visual arts critic. She's going to hand out this award. How many visual artists have heard this? Oh, honey, you've got to find something to fall back on. You know, a real career. Well, here's the answer. Being a fine artist is a real career. It's a career that may be risky, but it's very, very rewarding. And the three finalists for best visual artist are Brandon Dunlap, Alex Scott, and Amanda Stiles. And the lofi goes to Amanda Stiles. I see a rector and I want it painted black. No colors anymore, I want them to turn black. I see the girls go by dressed in their summer clothes. Y'all are gonna hate me, I didn't prepare a speech. <laughs> I didn't think I'd win, <laughs> so thank you, and I want to thank all of the art cast members, um, Carlos Castro, Chuck Majewski, Marcus Aurelius, uh, Adam Blackwelder, and Laura Blair. Thank you. This is very exciting. Joe, rally the troops. Tell them it's time to clap. Clap, clap. Let's raise the screen. Raise the roof. Get this out of the way. We got action. Are you having a good time, folks? Are you having a good time? Wow. They normally don't let you drink in here, but you drank in the parking lot, didn't you? Hell yeah. Please. I was backstage with Wade Tatangelo, the uh, music critic who also writes for Bar Tab, which explains his musical taste. 
The guy, come on, he drinks and writes about it. That is too cool. That's, that gives a whole new meaning to the phrase workaholic. <laughs> My parents were that way too. They, I was the only kid in school who bought a six pack to the canned food drive. Would have been a 12 pack, but my stepdad drove that day. Yes, I'm stalling. Look at this. Grew up in California, moved here about 13 years ago. I'm actually half Danish and half Mexican. Thanks for not laughing. It wasn't easy as a kid. Mom used to drive us to school in a lowered Volvo. And every Christmas, you get a visit from Santana Claus. Here comes the stuff. This is very exciting. Oh, everybody ready for hurricane? Hurricane season's almost over. We got nothing. Isn't this cool? Yeah? Please. At least there's warning for those. It's not like LA where I grew up where there was earthquakes. Anybody ever been through an earthquake? Earthquake survivors? Ma'am, where were you? Where was the earthquake? Los Angeles. Over here. San Francisco. Those are good answers. When I first moved here, I was at Side Splitters in Tampa. I asked somebody, had there been through an earthquake? I goes, I was in an earthquake in Plant City. I had to explain to him, Bubba, there are no fault lines in Plant City. Somebody backed into your trailer. He was all pissed off. Manufactured house. We are having fun setting this up. This is so cool. You guys set up quick. Cool. You guys close? This is great. Grips, roadies. What do we got shaking out here? You guys want to give a couple of rawr? All right, this is very exciting. This is the final musical performance of the evening. This is so cool. This is, it's been a big year for me to be, to be on Channel 10, on Studio 10, and get to meet and hear some of the greatest local artists that will be or should be national artists. Lorna Bracewell, who we saw at the, uh, hell yeah, saw her at the Chris Isaac concert at Ruth Eckert Hall. Rebecca Pulley, who won that award tonight. And then recently, this band with their latest recording.